everybody. This is from the Portland Juggling Festival in 2018. It's how you got in, you wore it, and it showed that you could have access to the gym and all the fun goodness that is this festival. I like to keep stuff like this because it helps me remember. I have a really bad memory, like super bad, and so having little keepsakes like this help me remember the things that I've done and the people I've met. And I remember this festival really well. And that's because I actually filmed a vlog about it. In fact, it was my very first ever attempt at like a Taylor Tries vlog. I've never made a vlog before, but I'm, I'm gonna try. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be, so I actually never finished editing it. I have all this footage from that festival and it just sat on my hard drive. This is the weekend that the Portland Juggling Festival is supposed to happen. And in fact, it is. It's happening online. You can go participate. I'm actually teaching a workshop. There's links in the description. But since we can't be there in person, I thought it would be really fun to revisit some of that old footage and show you what it was like at the Portland Juggling Festival in 2018. <laughs> I had such a great time at this festival. I got to see the coolest house that I've ever been in. With the coolest animals I've ever met, besides Lemon. I love you, Lemon. I got to celebrate my birthday because the Portland Juggling Festival always happens to be on the weekend of my birthday. So I got a birthday pie. Looks delicious. I hang out with my friend Kate, who is great. Literally, that's her name, Kate Great. She's a performer. I always like to go to a place where you can get frozen food and underwear in the same store. We explored Portland a bit and we juggled. I get to see some great friends and some great juggling. This is like my favorite clip of the entire thing. How cute is this kid? Look at him. He's copying him and it's the cutest. This is what I love about juggling festivals. They're just great. Then we went to Renegade, which is sort of a late night, adult only juggling show that's really loose and doesn't have a lot of rules. We're going to Renegade! Tart into a camera. <laughs> Tart into a camera, in the dark. Woo! Then I saw more amazing juggling and friends.
was over and I missed 2019 because I had a lot of life stuff going on. And in 2020, we can't meet in person in Portland for the Portland Juggling Festival this year. And I'm really sad about it. I'm also really happy that the organizers of that festival are doing an online version. There's a great lineup of some amazing stuff that's supposed to happen. I'm super honored to be teaching a clay motion workshop, which again, if you're interested in that, you should come, it'll be fun. Either way, check out the Portland Juggling Festival this weekend. It's not the same as in person, but it's going to be great. And hopefully next year we'll be able to go back to Portland and have a great time with each other in the same gym. But until then, I'll see you all online and hopefully we can make some great memories either way. She doesn't know where she's going. So what's that? Hmm? Say hi, Nilfred. I keep looking at that and not this, so I'll get better. I'm sure I don't have the chocolate on my face. <laughs> God, I hope you don't keep that. <laughs>